And after he's been hooked up, play the one that's on his that's rough, buddy. The Looks Maxi community is all obsessed with one thing. Everyone wants to be a Chad. You want to be handsome. You want to have women chasing you like you're the sexiest man that they have ever seen. But the question is, how do you actually know whenever you are a Chad? Well, really, most of these signs, it's going to come down to how women treat you. Because they treat the Chad so much differently than just the average looking guy. And here's the thing. What I hate about this community is a lot of you guys, you trust the ratings that these other guys are giving you from the male gaze or just scientifically how your face looks you're breaking it down too much which there is some truth to it but you know what man there is nothing better than how women actually treat you this is the one and only way to know if you are a chat so without further ado let's get it first two signs actually have nothing to do with how women treat you but they are very important number one Something I can't remember if I've actually discussed on the channel, but it is if babies stare at you. This has actually come down to scientific research in that babies are actually drawn to more attractive humans. So this actually breaks the argument that attraction is subjective. We all have different types. No, no, no. no. Attractive is attractive. It doesn't matter what color your hair is, how tall you are. If you are handsome, if you are a Chad, then you will know it. So if babies stare at you, like you see a baby, and it just locks eye contact with you for a minute straight, this is a very good sign that you are a Chad. You are very handsome. By the way, a Chad to me is going to be a 7.5 out of 10 and plus. So if you would subjectively rate yourself 7.5 plus, and this is SMB, this isn't just facial ratings, then you're most likely a Chad. I have mentioned this one, but it is very, very important, but it is if you get celebrity comparisons to a objectively attractive celebrities for example I always get compared to a couple like Machine Gun Kelly Leon Kennedy which a lot of people are very drawn to a lot of women simp for guys like this so they are known as attractive so if you get those attractive celebrity comparisons then you are a chat now we're actually getting to how women treat you so first of all if you've seen any of my new content if a woman ever does a whiplash 360 just to check you out she looks you up and down this is one of the easiest ways to know that you're a chad like let's say you're cute maybe you're six out of ten maybe you're just kind of average she might be kind of drawn to you she'll kind of look at you she'll make some eye contact with you maybe a little bit of side eye but if she's going full 360 to get an extra glance at you mm, you're a chad in addition to that is one of the easiest ways to know that you are a chad have you ever been out in public, you see a girl, she's with her boyfriend, and this girl, even though she's with her boyfriend, just gives you that fuck me eye look. She eyeing you, she is staring at you right in front of her boyfriend, she has no shame. This is one of the biggest ways to know that you're a chat. There is actually a saying that women are always trying to level up. They want the best man possible. So if they're with their man who's kind of average looking, she doesn't care, man. If she sees a man who is better looking, more attractive, he looks more successful, she will be drawn to this guy over the guy that she's with. She no longer cares. Hypergamy is killer, man. Or whenever they're actually with their boyfriends, sometimes they won't look at you because the boyfriend is very aggressive. He's very hyper aggressive and he does one thing I'm sure all you guys are very familiar with, but it is mate guarding. So if you ever walk past a couple and you see the guy literally just grab his girl nice and close, maybe give you a little dirty look, this is a sign he sees you as a threat. You're much more attractive than him. Most likely, you're going to be a chat. If other guys are intimidated by you, if they hate you, or let's say you got a buddy, he's got a new girlfriend, and it seems kind of weird, like you can't even meet his new girlfriend. You guys are super close, but he hides his girlfriend from you. That is a good chance that you are a chat, or perhaps you're just kind of a snaky guy. Everybody knows that height is going to be included in SMV. Like I said, this is based off SMV. So if you want that Chad treatment, even if you got a 6 out of 10 face, you can be treated as a Chad if you get a little bit taller. Ideally, 6 foot 2 to 6 foot 6 is what women seem to flock to. They really simp for this. So if you want to optimize your high growth genetics, it's only 60 to 80% actual genetics and 20 to 40% environmental, meaning that you can control it. And the number one reason most of you guys don't actually reach this high growth potential is because you have nutrient deficiencies. 92% of you guys are deficient in basic vitamins and minerals. When this happens, IGF-1 human growth hormone shuts down, which is actually going to close your growth plates, meaning you cannot grow any taller just 
just because of this deficiency. So you gotta pick up Titan Girl 2.0 on my website, Kalosteek.com, which has 500 to 1,000% of all your daily required nutrients so that you can optimize your high growth and grow as tall as possible. Now, typically right now, I would tell you to pick up Aries Rage, but I'm actually sold out. But instead, I'm gonna tell you to pick up Hypno Sleep. Hypno Sleep has everything scientifically proven to help you fall asleep, which is the number one thing to help you grow taller and not to mention things that boost HGH, such as GABA, which has been scientifically proven to boost HGH by up to 400%. Then we got melatonin, valerian root, everything scientifically proven to boost HGH and make you fall asleep instantly. And right now, because I'm out of Aries Rage, I'm giving you guys a discount. Get 25% off. Use the code TITAN on Kalosleek.com. Both these supplements will help you grow taller and a couple more will also help you grow taller. And don't forget to join Kalos VIP. Kalos VIP is my looks maxing score. I have my three hour looks maxing masterclass, two hour high growth masterclass right now, three chapters of my female nature masterclass. You gotta join right now. I'm doing a huge sale once again. The link in the description box. If you are a Chad, you know how to take those aesthetic Instagram photos. Even if you don't got a lot of followers, maybe you're talking to random girls from Tinder, whatever it is. A lot of guys, you know what they want? They want nudes. A lot of guys want nudes. A lot of normies are out here sending pictures of their PP to a woman. It's disgusting. Don't ever do that. No one should ever do that. But if a woman ever sends you unsolicited nudes, maybe a sex tape, maybe she's masturbating, or just any type of sexy photo, this means that you're a Chad, man. Women will only send photos like this to guys that they really desperately want guys that they are chasing if women are actually chasing you like, like you're not putting in any effort you're not actually asking her out you're not following her nothing they're just coming to you they're flocking to you that is chad treatment my brother and like i just said they will ask you out if you are a chad like if you're out in public they will come up to you and compliment you or just bring up some random subject they might try to place things to where they give you the opportunity to ask you out they try to make it as effortless as possible for you to get with them basically if you're a chad there will not be any obstacles whatsoever you're like you know whenever you go out with a girl she's like oh i wait three dates before i sleep with the guy oh i can't go on a date unless i talk to you for a week oh oh there's all these rules if you're a chad there are no rules she's not gonna say that you're not her type she's not gonna say oh i don't like blondes i don't like redheads i don't like this i don't like that no no if you're a chad she will accept anything she will break all of her rules she'll break all of her types because women don't really have types so if she's willing to do this, you're a Chad. But last but not least, the surefire way to know that you're a Chad is going to be your success rate with sex on the first date. So if you try to have sex with a woman on the first date, if let's say 90% of the time you can successfully have sex with them on the first date, good news, you are a Chad. But let's say maybe it's 50-50, you might be a Chad light, high tier normie. Let's say you never get laid on the first date. You go out with these girls, nothing happens on the first date. Maybe a little peck on the cheek, peck on the lips, but nothing too intimate. You're probably not a Chad. If you are a Chad, they watch to be the ones making the first moves. They're going to be the ones saying, hey, you want to stay over tonight? Hey, let's go get coffee in my place. They're the ones offering these things. They basically throw themselves at you, and all you have to do is finish if you want it. But like I've always said, protect that sexual energy, man. Don't just be smashing random girls out here. Yes, as a Chad, you have the opportunity. You can smash anybody that you want to, but always keep in mind you're absorbing the energy that this girl slept with all the other guys you're taking in all that energy all that bad energy the laziness the negativity you don't need that man focus on your self-improvements focus on your goals but that's it man subscribe if you're new i love you with all my heart peace